Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Eric Desaunier about the overall graphite market. Thank you, Tracy. I'm going to put you on the spot here and I'm going to ask you what you think is going to happen with graphite prices this year. We're very bullish on graphite. We believe it's you inevitable are. that the prices have to lift this year. Yeah. What do you think? And obviously, uh, uh, no for this is a forecast here. So uh, would you like to comment on that? Yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting year. Why? because we saw the price going down since 2012 slowly with the refractories that are very weak. The steel, mar steel making industry is not very good in the last few years. But starting in September, the spherical graphite starting to go up. But the flake graphite wasn't going up until December. So it, it went up significantly in December. But now there's something special that is happening. The Chinese removed their uh, export tax. So why they did that? Their mine was dying because it's labor costs going high, uh, pollution is high, so the government is, get, is, is bringing in some new tax for these mines, pollution tax. So everyone is waiting to see what will be that pollution tax uh, on, the, on the Chinese. So this year it's very interesting because suddenly you have all the Chinese trying to go out of China again because they don't have the export tax, but they need to reinvest in their operation to make it cleaner so because they will be taxed soon on this so what the graphite price will do it's uh, difficult to say at the same time that the demand for lithium-ion battery is draining a lot of the supply uh, there's not so much new mines coming up into production so i see 2017 as being very uh, very important to keep going the uptrend and that's where people will, will realize there's not so much graphite into production and it's very important for the lithium ion battery, a little bit like lithium la last year. Lithium is very sensitive to the, the lithium ion battery market because I think it's 75% of the, percent of the market is. But graphite uh, for lithium ion battery is now 25% of the, the, the whole graphite market. So it's less sensitive to this market. But I think this year we'll see, we'll see that happening. We'll see that there's not so much graphite the demand is very strong and the, the graphite price will uh, eventually go up. And the thing that is difficult, it's not the same graphite price for all the product that I was talking to you about. So if you talk about fine flake, 91% purity, I don't want to be in that market, it's too difficult. But jumbo flake, 99, wow, what, that price is going up. Uh, spherical graphite, 99.95 and over that price is going up. So every product of graphite have their own uh, trend that sometimes goes in the op opposite direction. So that's the challenge, but that's the beauty of it. So the risk of the market is bringing a lot of the reward as well when you get into production. And the risk graphite and carbon is the example. Because even if that mine is dying and in four years they shut down, they announce it, it's public, the year before, it was the most profitable mine in Quebec. They paid 18% of royalty. It was in the newspaper. Even if they, so they don't close it for fun. It's just they don't have more ore. But it's very profitable when you're able to go in all these markets and make money. Well, Eric, you have so many interesting new members of your team. We'd also like to interview them, if possible, for Investor Intel members. But I'd like to just go back to your graphite purity, because one of our analysts was really hung up on talking about your graphite purity and how exceptional it is. Can you just talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So there's no magic graphite. Huh? There's two important physical properties. There's other things, but the main things is flake sized and uh, purity of your concentrate, or they call it carbon grade. And uh, so us, after flotation, so it means after a simple crushing, grinding, flotation, we get 98% purity in all flake sizes, which mean there's some customer that won't pay for having 98% purity, but other 96, 98, 97, 98, 99, we can even reach 99 by flotation for the jumbo flakes, for instance. So. It's allow, allowing us to go in a much higher margin market with a cheap process. So it's very important to have a high purity in all flake sizes, especially in the fine flake. Because you know the fine flake, it's the one used fine and medium for spherical graphite to go in the lithium ion battery market. So you need to use fine and medium because you need to micronize it anyway. So having high purity in that uh, flake sizes 
reduce the cost significantly, and we have proved it, proved, proved a process to do spherical graphite and purification, uh, thermal purification before Christmas, and we proved that, okay, we have a very economic setup because our graphite is very easy to purify to 99.99 because it started at 98. So it, it's very, very interesting to have this high purity. It's allowing to tap in every market. Well, Eric, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy.